Simon's stencil is on and Kim's ready to rock. All right, let the fun begin, right? So you, you haven't been in the band too long, have you? No, I think we met when they had the whole audition process. How did you end up auditioning? A former bandmate of mine said that uh, Fuel was looking for a singer. And the way that you audition was to go to the website and uh, record your own vocals and resubmit it back by the picture. I basically stopped my car and went to my old drummer's house, uh, who had a little home studio. And we got the version, put my vocals on it, and uh, submitted it back. Probably had my submission probably about two, two and a half hours after I had heard them. Wow. <laughs> Spent the rest of the night kind of wondering, you know, do I have a shot at this? Is it great? You know, I got this call from their management saying, hey, you know, the guys like what you did. Come on back. And uh, I did the whole audition again you know, on camera, and this time for management. And the first time I saw it, I heard him sing. And... Yeah. Like, that's our guy. Yeah. <laughs> the moment that I heard that I was in the band Fuel, I knew that my world was about to change. Uh, I knew that uh, it was not about working a day job anymore. I finally get to do what I've always wanted to do. So are you guys on tour? Are you going on tour? We've got a tour lined up for October. Oh, cool. And we had the night show, first time for me. Wow, how was that? That's pretty cool. Was one it crazy? Things. Yeah, one of those things, you know, as a kid, you kind of, one day I want to do that, you know, so one of those milestones. The moment that really kind of stood out to me, which was, I guess, the pinch me moment, was uh, my first show uh, playing a festival. I looked out over the crowd and I just sang, and like, I raised my hands up in the air and I, I saw like this sea of people, all the hands coming up, and I was just like, okay, this is the point here, and it's never gonna be the same again. It's, I guess, a true Cinderella story. Kind of fun to watch that come true for him. You know, played Leno Letterman in all those shows, and, uh, and, and to watch him do it for the first time, you go, oh. it's nice, it's cool. Now, does it kind of like re-spark things for you? It does, like that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. you see that and you go, oh yeah, that's a cool thing. Oh yeah, that, you know, not everybody rides on tour buses and has this life that we have, and it's cool, so it's, it's fun to watch. With the ambigram, it kind of shows the duality and the nature between, you know, like the sinner and the saint. And uh, I'm dealing with a lot of duality because it's, you know, with all the changes that are going on in my life, it tends to bring out the best and the worst in me. How's it looking? We're done. Let's go over to the mirror. Let's take a look. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. It matches up perfectly. Very cool. Kim is great. Um, basically, she kind of took the idea that I had and was able to just get it, you know, exactly like I wanted. And she did an amazing job. Having the opportunity to front the band that I was always a fan of before has basically changed my life, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Very cool.